Hello, my presentation is about ceramics and prehistoric times. I chose to do my presentation on ceramics and prehistoric times because I have always been interested in the idea of making and sculpting ceramic dishes and other objects. Although I have only ever made clay objects for fun when I was younger, I wanted to study more about the topic and the history behind it. A critical component of the Neolithic way of life was the ability to make ceramic vessels. The art of the pottery had a huge use of shaping and decorating objects. There are technicalities with the ceramics and pottery. Ceramics cover all baked clay wares and pottery covers all baked clay wares except porcelain. Porcelain is extremely hard and fine white ceramic, which was made by the Chinese potters in the eighth century CE. It is a mixture of kaolin and pentunse, fired at a very high temperature, then resulted with a translucent surface. Porcelain is the most refined product of ceramic technology. Pottery vessels were created in multiple different ways using different methods of strategy making. You can raise up the sides from a ball of raw clay, coil long rolls of soft raw clay, stack them on top of each other to form a container-like shape and then smooth them by hand. And you can also press the clay over existing forms. Egyptian potters created the pottery wheel in 4000 BCE. The pottery wheel is round spinning platform where clay could be placed and formed while a person rotates their fingers to form a vessel quickly. Origins of ceramics and pottery wheels. The use of ceramic technology and the purpose of ceramics and the circumstances are not from one specific place or one certain purpose. The prehistoric ceramics that date from 20,000 years ago were excavated in Southern China, Yianchi province. Other ceramics were Japan's Jomen dated in 12,000 BCE. There were also findings of human made ceramics in Czechoslovakia, which date back to at least 24,000 BC. Those ceramics were made from animal fat, bones mixed with bone ash and a clay-like material. The ceramics were fired at temperatures of 500 to 800 C in kilns, which are ovens specialized for fire and pottery. Some stone elements in the clay can become glassy when in temperatures between 1200 and 1400 C, resulting in a stronger type of ceramic, which is known as stoneware. Uses uh, visual of a Neolithic cer ceramic vessel. This early Neolithic jar was built roughly around 6,000 to 5,000 BC from Kramis Didi Gora in the Republic of Georgia. The jar is about a meter in length and width and is able to hold at least 80 gallons. Uses and purposes of the vessels. As you may know, the pottery vessels were used for storing different types of products. For able, arable farming, the vessels were used in Mesolithic and Neolithic period for cereals and dairy products. In the Neo Neolithic period, many different types of vessels were made and the shapes and decorations were both symbolic and held a realistic significance. A lot of the vessels were designed in a way that made them look sort of like actual baskets or woven if you look at them in a certain way. Vessels could be used as a decorative display for special occasions, as well as being used for simple household pots. The pots were used for many other things as well, such as for medicines, neurotic plants being consumed, cooking and eating purposes, and much more. More uses and purposes for the ceramic pottery and clay. Neolithic people didn't use pottery and clay for just making ceramic vessels. They also were useful to make in miniature figures. The miniature figures referred to, to fertility cults and matriarchal societies as well. These figures were significified as art human bodies, art of human bodies because they, were, they mark the purpose of human identity. The sculpted human figures were used for different things such as toys, portraits, and votives. 
even though the determination on why pottery was first invented, all the purposes for them I have stated and much more gave ceramics a reason to be made and used. Back then and now, the, the technology for pro producing ceramics evolved over time and became much more simpler from back then to the present day. Here's what it looks like Here's what looks like an extremely old pottery wheel compared to a pottery wheel that are made in 2020. This was a great opportunity to learn more about ceramics, clay, and pottery, especially since I have been a fan of using clay and even Play-Doh. Even though I have never made anything nearly as amazing as the work others have done, such as in my presentation, it surely seems fascinating and warped rewarding for those who created such art. Thank you very much for taking the time to check out my presentation. I hope you all learned something from my presentation and topic. I definitely learned a lot more about ceramics in prehistoric times, the history and purpose, and much more knowledge than I started out with. Feel free to ask any questions if you have any.